grade 6 learners graduate via virtual amid coronavirus pandemic. Despite of the pandemic, Capellan Elementary School has manifested its resiliency by conducting its 27th graduation exercises, 8th moving up ceremony, and 47th recognition rides. Indeed, Capellan Elementary School is always anchoring itself in the achievement and welfare of its learners. End of the school year rides amid pandemic will be done at Capellan Elementary School to make its learners happy and feel the essence of having a moving up ceremony virtually despite of this hard time that we are facing. Out of 497 pupils for the school year 2019-2020, three of them should be awarded with high honors. Truly, in Capellan Elementary School, character, competence, and excellence converge. Pandemic may come, but we are resilient. It may stop a lot of things, but it cannot stop us to continue and look forward in all the things that we want to do. Truly, in times of difficulty, there is an opportunity. Thus, today marks a memorable moment that signifies a victory, especially to the graduating class. After six years of learning the fundamentals in elementary, you finally reach this moment, your graduation day, that serves as your stepping stone in the next journey of your education. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first virtual graduation and moving up ceremony with a theme, Sulung Edukalidad, Championing the Nation's Future. To start with, may we hail and witness with pride and honor the processional march of the candidates for graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, the faculty members of Papelian Elementary School, headed by Mom Ernilda B. Molina, is school principal too. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen, the singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be followed by a prayer. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Sa bawat taong nagmamahal 
Salamat, salamat sa iyo. Walang hanggang basa salamat. Ang sayo ay aming sasambiti. Maging sa huling sandali ng aming buhay. Basa salamat sa iyo ay walang Maging sa huling sandali ng aming buhay Pasasalamat sa iyo Pasasalamat sa iyo Pasasalamat sa iyo Walang hanggang Walang of success in life is for a man to be ready for his opportunity when it comes. At this point in time, may we listen to Honorable Roderick R. Garcia, Punong Barangay of Capellian, for his opening remarks. Sakbay iti amin, anak mga tayo iti minsay, katagay tayo graduate iti ang alaw, iti uping, iti barangay Capellian. Kablawak mga ba, iti naimbag ng oras sa ikakagagayit ng maestra, na ipang pangulohan ni Apo Principal eh, Ernelda Molina kada kayo nga naganak na imbag na oras kin bigat tayo amin iti minsayk lang kada giti ubing nga graduate itangal daw e, gaidyo kuma iti agadal tap no kasta amin ipangarap yung iti biyag kit magun o jo and han lang tayo ta tati adal kit isi ti kapapatgan nga tayo kayo kada giti naganak tayo Stan, gamanak ng bag na bigat kin aldaw kayo. Formally welcome everyone to this prestigious event, the 27th graduation exercises. May we lend our ears to Gian Cal Sigandeza, one of the outstanding pupils, to express his words of welcome. Sa mga opisyales ng kagawaran ng edukasyon, mga guro, magulang, kapamagaran, at sa lahat ng iba pang tungutanghayin ng virtual graduation na ito, isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. Ang araw na ito ang ikadalawamputpito na pagtatapos ng paralang elementarya ng kapelyan. Tanda ng pagtatapos ng isang yugto ng pag-aaral. At bagong simula para sa mga kapwa ko magsisipagtapos na sasabak sa panibagong hamon ng pag-aaral. Nakakalungkot mang isipin na ating lilisanin ang para lang humubog at nagturo sa atin ng samutsaring aral sa buhay. Ating gamitin ang mga reksyon na ito upang patuloy na mapagbuti ang ating mga sarili. Sa kabila ng mga pagsubok na ating pinagdaraanan sa panahong ito, manalig tayo na makakamit natin ang mga mitiin natin sa buhay. Ika nga ng Diyos sa Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 sapagkat batid kong lubos ang mga plano ko para sa inyo, mga plano hindi ninyo ikakasama, kundi para sa inyo ikabubuti. Ito ay mga plano magdudulot sa inyo ng kinabukasang punong-puno ng pag-asa. Hindi man natin magawang ipagdiwang tulad ng nakasanayan ang tagumpay na ito dahil sa kasalukuyang krisis, Patuloy pa rin nating ipagbunyi ang ating mga pinagpaguran at nakamit sa loob ng anim na taon kaakibat ang tulong ng ating mga minamahal na magulang. Kaya, sa araw ng pagdiriwang na ito, ako ay lubos, ako ay lubos na nagagalak na makasama kayo. Maligayang pagdalo sa ikadalawamputpito na pagtatapos ng paralang elementarya ng gapilyat sa taong panuruang 2019-2020, isang maligayang pagbati sa mga kapwa kong magsisipagtapos. Pagpalain na wa tayo ng Diyos, muli magandang araw. At this juncture, 
Ma'am Ernil De B. Molina, our school principal, will present to us the candidates for graduation to be followed by the acceptance and confirmation of graduates by Dr. Gilbert Narato, CEO 6, CESO 5, Schools Division Superintendent. On the basis of the certification made by your school head that you have satisfactorily completed the requirements of the Enhanced K-12 Basic Education Program, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as the Schools Division Superintendent of the Schools Division of the City of Ilagan, I now confirm and accept the graduates for the learners under the Senior High School Curriculum and completers for the learners under the Kinder, Elementary, and Junior High School curriculums of school year 2019-2020. In a short while, you will receive your diplomas for graduation and certificates of completion. Congratulations to you and to your lucky parents. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation messages of our DepEd officials. It is with tremendous pride and pleasure that I wish each graduate congratulations and commendations for this school year. The theme of this year's end of school rights, Sulong Edukalidad, championing the nation's future, speaks volume on the call for the continued delivery of quality, relevant and liberating basic education, and ensuring that the K-12 program empowers you as a lifelong learner. Your graduation signifies a new beginning as you enter another phase of your life in the educational landscape. This is now the time to reflect on your accomplishments and prepare for the future that lies ahead. You may not be marching on stage to receive your diploma and awards, but we are confident that you are clad with valuable learnings as future leaders and nation builders. The threshold of opportunities is open and unbolted. Walk with faith and the path of your plans and dreams will soon be realized. Celebrate your achievements and take your time to show gratitude to the people who have helped you reach this milestone and those who have been influential in the attainment of your dreams. Certainly, we recognize and appreciate the parents, the local government unit of the City of Ilagan, our partners and stakeholders in working with us in providing holistic education to our learners. Hence, we do not only celebrate the promotion of our children in the ladder of academic success, but today we acknowledge the collaboration and unified action that we share. Dear completers and graduates, with your knowledge upgraded, character refined, and skills fine-tuned, we urge you to use it for the betterment of the society and play a part as catalysts of change and innovators of the 21st century milieu, a sure fireway to accomplish more for the glory of God. May you continue to uphold the core values Makajos, makatao, makakalikasan, at makabansa in these challenging times and in whatever endeavor you want to pursue. Together, we walk for the Ilagenyo learners with our battle cry, Sulong Edukalidad. Again, congratulations and mabuhay. Thank you. The Curriculum Implementation Division of SDO City of Ilagan extends its appreciation for the initiative of both internal and external stakeholders of this learning institution, especially the school management and teaching force in the conduct of this unique and very special way, 2020 
graduation rites. It is a manifestation of their concern, care, and love to the graduates of BATS 2020 that in spite of this crisis, the COVID-19 pandemic, which led us to new normal, they are not allowing this pandemic to derail nor stop them from plans to recognize the efforts of our graduates. A sign of optimism and resiliency which every graduate must possess. Our dear parents of these graduates, please receive our heartfelt congratulations. Truly, your continuous guidance and support will inspire them in achieving their goals in life. Graduates, congratulations to your well-deserved success. Today is a life-changing moment to all of you. For you will receive the fruit of your toil, your diploma, which spells who you are as K-12 learners. With this year's graduation theme, Sulung Edukalidad, championing the nation's future, it underscores your important role as future leaders of our country. As products of the K-12 basic education program, I can, I am <laughs> Graduates, congratulations to your well-deserved success. Today is a life-changing moment to all of you, for you will receive the fruit of your toil, your diploma, which spells who you are as K-12 learners. With this year's graduation theme, Sulung Edukalidad, championing the nation's future, it underscores your important role as future leaders of our country. As products of the K-12 basic education program, I am confident in saying that you are all equipped with the necessary knowledge and competencies that led you to become more productive, proficient, and valuable agents in nation building. Once again, graduates, congratulations, and good luck to your next journey. My sincerest felicitations to the school officials, administrators, teachers, parents, guardians, completers, and graduates of school year 2019-2020. The Department of Education makes things possible amid COVID-19 pandemic. The conduct of this virtual end of school year and rights is a proof of the department's commitment to institute reforms on the new normal delivery of instruction, services, and programs. Hence, we salute the administration and staff of the schools in coming up with this historical and one-of-a-kind graduation ceremonies. Graduation is a celebration of another milestone in your education journey as learners. Today, we commemorate and recognize your achievements and accomplishments. As you reap the fruits of your hard work and perseverance, make this as an opportune time to thank the people who guided and supported you to reach this momentous event. Go forth, step forward, and embark on another opportunities for learning and take with you the core values of Makajos, Makatao, Makakalikasan, at Makabansa. We acknowledge our frontliners, curriculum managers, school administrators, instructional leaders, and teachers in delivering quality basic education and ensuring that the skills and competencies 
under the K-12 basic education program are mastered and quality learning outcomes are achieved. We thank the parents and guardians for supporting your children until the finish line. May you continue to walk with them and be with them in realizing their goals and dreams in life. You have acts and inspiration in their hearts, which they will carry in their future endeavors. This year's theme, Sulom Edukalidad, championing the nation's future, articulates the Department of Education's vision and mission towards achieving quality basic education. Truly, DEFED is committed in developing globally competitive and 21st century learners, graduates and completers in delivering quality, accessible, relevant, and liberating basic education to the Filipino children. Lastly, we convey our heartfelt gratitude to the overwhelming support of our stakeholders, government organizations, non-government organizations, private sector, especially the local government unit of the city of Ilagan, through Honorable Jose Marie L. Diaz, our very generous and supportive city mayor, and other civic-spirited individuals and organizations in their worthy contributions to the different programs and projects of the schools division of the city of Ilagan. Again, Congratulations, mabuhay ang mga kabataan ilagenyo at sama-sama tayo sa Project Baradol at sa Sulong Edukalida. Filled with joy and jubilation, I greet everyone with warm felicitations as we conclude another school year. Congratulations, dear completers, graduates, and to the ever-supportive parents. As we shift from access to quality as our pivotal agenda, bannered by Sulong Idukalidad, we re-intensify our commitment and passions to embrace new ideas, new perspectives, and new actions that will bring about better governance in basic education. In the bigger picture of our basic education, we see the real battles fought and won inside the classrooms through quality education. Nelson Mandela's words, now famously displayed at the entrance of the University of South Africa, remind us of our continuing advocacy. Destroying a nation does not require the use of atomic bombs or the use of long-range missiles. It only requires lowering the quality of education, and allowing cheating in the examinations by the students. We take cognizance of the fact that our battle for quality education will be long and it shall be carried out by learners who believe in the power of their dreams, by teachers who hold the baton of the future, by parents who share our values of discipline, compassion, and shared responsibility by education leaders who are also willing to go the extra mile and bring education to remote areas and by like-minded partners who believe there is hope for a brighter future. As you progress your academic journey, create your dreams, your goals, your destiny. I implore that you prepare yourselves for the bigger challenges that lie ahead, with the promise that DepEd is always and in all ways giving its best for you and the dreams you keep in your heart. Together we shall champion the cause of quality basic education and ultimately the nation's future. Mabuhay! Sangalan ng Department of Education, 
ang ating mga opisyales, members ng executive committee, members ng um, ANCOM, ang management committee, saan naroroon ang mga regional directors at mga superintendents, uh, mga supervisors, ating mga central office directors, at uh, pinaka-importante, mga principals sa mga teachers, kami lahat ay tuwang-tuwa na natapos na rin ninyo ang mga uh, pangangailangan para magiging considered na kayo na graduates of class 2020. Uh, kayo ay isa-isa kong kinokongratulate. Uh, sayang hindi ko naman kayo pwedeng maka-shake hands o pwedeng mangitian ng personal. Pero uh, yung ating uh, magandang uh, asal, yung ating magandang uh, pagtingin sa isa't isa sa inyo, nandoon pa rin. At saka tuwan-tuwa kami talaga, lalo na ako. Para sa akin, ang graduation ay isa sa pinaka masigla, pinaka masaya na okasyon sa buhay ng isang uh, learner o isang um, estudyante. Pero pinaka masaya din yan para sa teacher pinakamasaya yan sa lahat ng administrators dahil mayroon na namang graduating class na nakakatapos. Uh, kayo ay very special. Special kayo sa parents ninyo. Special kayo sa mga friends, sa mga teachers ninyo, sa community. Special na special kayo, each and every one of you. But you are also special in a different way because you are graduating at the time of COVID-19. Siguro pag magiging ganap na kayong uh, uh, citizen ng Pilipinas o lumaki na kayo, uh, tumanda na kayo, sasabihin ninyo ako ay nag-graduate sa panahon ng coronavirus. Ang pag-graduate ninyo ngayon ay ibang-iba sa pag-graduate ng mga nakauna sa inyo or maybe sa susunod sa inyo. Dahil ito ngayon ay panahon ng coronavirus, so mga adjustments ang ginagawa natin. Hindi pwede tayong magtipon-tipon, hindi pwedeng magkita-kita kayo ng mga parents ng classmates sa ninyo, mga barkada, mga yaya, lolo, lola, at mga parents and teachers, hindi pwedeng mag-ipon-ipon kayo sa isang lugar at this time. Pero marami namang ibang paraan na kayo ay babatiin at para ma-celebrate ninyo itong special na occasion na ito. Uh, ang iba sa inyo ay magkaroon ng virtual graduation tulad ng sa Davao. Uh, congratulations sa inyo. Ang iba naman siguro maghintay kung mayroon ng uh, mas um, friendlier uh, environment, mas friendlier circumstances. At saka, hindi lang ito nangyari sa panahong ito dahil sa COVID. May mga uh, karanasan din ang DepEd. May karanasan din ang ating mga universidad kung saan napupostpone na pagpaliban ang graduation. Uh, sa panahon ng mga lola at lolo ninyo, na pagpaliban ang graduation dahil yung panahon nyo ng gera. At saka mayroon talaga ng tunay na kalaban na nagdi-disrupt ng ating mga activities. So at that time, yung mga estudyante, hindi sila nagka-graduate. Naka mayroon namang uh, instance na mayroong malaking mga disasters kaya napopostpone din ang graduation. Kagaya nung nangyari minsan sa UP, dahil napakatindi yung bagyo na tumama sa, sa Manila, sa Central uh, Luzon at sa ibang bahagi ng uh, Luzon, at ang UP hindi nakapagpatuloy sa kanyang graduation. So, ang nangyari, the next na lang ng registrar ang mga estudyante na ikaw ay graduado na. Dadating din ang panahon siguro 
kung kagustuhan ng inyong mga parents o kagustuhan ng inyong mga teachers or administrators na magkaroon din kayo ng graduation tulad ng dati. Pero ang importante ay kayo ay graduado na. Kayo ay pumasa. Kayo ay dumanas sa mahirap na pamamaraan, mga examen, mga ratings, na grado na binigay ng mga teachers ninyo para kayo makonsider talaga na graduate. Ano kaya ang payo na maibigay ko sa inyo sa panahong ito ng COVID-19? Kasi kaiba nga ang sitwasyon ninyo ngayon. Para sa mga elementary school students na mag-move up to, to junior high school, eh, ibang-iba na ang mapuntahan ninyo sa high school. Hindi na yung araw-araw gigisingin kayo, magdala kayo ng baon, uh, at saka makikita ninyo teachers ninyo, at saka yung mga libro, mahawakan ninyo, mahihipo ninyo. Uh, iba na ang uh, pamamaraan dahil uh, ang gagamitin ICT, gagamitin yung mga learning platforms kagaya ng DepEd Commons, ang gagamitin ay ang mga computer, ang tablet, television, at sa radio para matuto kayo. Depende kung anong sitwasyon sa inyong lugar. Para naman sa junior high school na pupunta sa senior high school, baka matuwa kayo kasi nung na-introduce ang senior high school, maraming mga komentaryo, feedback galing sa parents ninyo, galing sa mga eksperto, na sobrang dami yung subjects. Ngayon, na-reduce na natin yung subjects, lalo na sa senior high school at saka sa iba't ibang baitang. No? So sa junior high school, kayong nag-step nag, nag, uh, up na. Uh, ang magiging subjects ninyo sa senior high school, uh, sobrang kunti kaysa dati. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na kunti lang ang malalaman ninyo. Kasi karamihang malalaman din ninyo, marami kayong matutunan sa bahay ninyo sa pag-aaral ninyo sa learning platforms at sa kasatulong ng inyong mga magulang, sa inyong lolo at lola, inyong mga mentors sa bahay at saka sa inyong mga yung sinasabi kong mga tahanan ninyo. So, lesser ang learning competencies para sa senior high school at saka sa ibang grado pero siguro mas malalim ang matutunan ninyo. Kasi ang pangangailangan ngayon, ma-elementary ka, ma-junior high school ka, o magiging uh, senior high school ka, napapasok na sa universidad, ang pinaka-importante ay yung sinasabi sa batas na critical thinking. Kung may mga problema, kung may mga challenges, kailangang matuto tayo na ito ay ma-analyze mapag-isipan ng rational, yung sinasabi to natin ginagamit ang logic, ginagamit ang analysis, ang kailangan yung collaboration, makipagtulungan ka sa mga classmates mo, sa parents mo, kailangan ng communication, hindi pwede na uh, ikaw lang mag-isa mag-aaral, magko-communicate ka palagi, but siguro yung sinasabi natin na virtual pero ang importante para sa akin, wala yan sa batas, wala yan sa mga libro siguro. Ang importante para sa inyo, sa junior high na magiging senior, sa senior na magiging university o pupunta sa mga vocational training na nagugustuhan ninyo, ay eh, ang magiging courageous, magiging brave. Uh, huwag kayong matakot dahil ang mundo na pinupuntahan ninyo ay ibang-iba sa nasanayan ninyo. Hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng inyong mga school, hindi kayo pababayaan ng mga teachers, hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng ating government na nagbibigay sa atin ng mga paaralan galing sa buwis ng ating mga magulang at hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng mga magulang ninyo. Hindi kayo nag-iisa. Kaya huwag kayong matakot dahil maraming mga bagong uh, bagay na ituturo sa inyo 
maraming bagong tinatawag nila na challenges na haharapin ninyo pero hindi nakakatakot dapat ma-excited kayo dahil iba na ang inyong pag-aralan iba ng pamamaraan sa pag-aaral at saka siguro maging mas mabuti kayong citizen kaysa aming mga lola, lolo at mami, daddy ninyo ngayon. So once again, congratulations para sa mag-aakyat mag from elementary hanggang magpunta na sila sa junior high school. Yung galing sa junior high school na magpupunta sa senior high school at ang senior high school na pupunta na sa vocational, mag-specialized uh, training, o magtrabaho, o pupunta sa universidad. Congratulations to each and every one of you. It's a new world that you are facing. Siguro, some of you, hindi ako sigurado sa mga elementary uh, students, pero sa mga junior high at saka element, uh, sa senior high, Alam niyo yung pelikula ni Alaiden. Si Alaiden, mayroong magic rug, di ba? Sumasakay sila, naglilipad sila kasama si Princess Yasmin. At sa ang kinakanta nila, a whole new world. You're now leaving your school. You're entering a whole new world. But do not be afraid because you will not be alone. Your teachers will always be with you. Your government will always see to it that you will be educated. Your family will be with you. And most important, God will be with you. So God be with you. Do not be afraid. These are wonderful times. Congratulations sa isa't isa sa inyong lahat. Thank you. Graduation exercises bring happiness and joy to the pupils who will graduate, to their teachers, and most of all, to their dearest parents. CES have gone a long way. We are now in our 27th year of inspiring, caring, and transforming lives. You, the graduates, have gone a long way too. We salute you for your industry and perseverance to finish your elementary education. Indeed, you have already finished the one fourth part of your life being a learner. Mr. and Mrs.
This is Jose M. Ancheta. Basilio Jezrael A. Elementary graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Darwin G. Basilio. Baisa Antonio G. Elementary graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Bernard G. Baisa. Bolahan Gian Alfred M. Elementary graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Louifer M. Bolahan. Kabasal Raylan C. Elementary graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Reynante G. Kabasal. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Danny G. C. Dendeza. Garbo Rochelle M. Elementary graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ronald C. Garbo. Gonzalez James Minard D. Elementary graduate. With honors. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jomar R. Gonzalez. Lorenzo Rafael S. Elementary graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Janisho A. Lorenzo. Marcos Adrian B. Elementary graduate. With honors. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ronaldo L. Marcos. Nera Indian J. Elementary graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Mateo B. Nera. Arrocha Erwin B. Elementary graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rodolfo M. Arrocha. Pinera Lordan Jr. A. Elementary graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Lordan C. Pinera Sr. Robero DJ C. Elementary graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Danilo B. Robero. Tahulim Emmanuel M. Elementary graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Archie C. Tauli. Vinyas Rimar Vins S. Elementary graduate. With honors, Parents, Mrs. Maritor S. Lea. Agustin Frances Dayan B. Elementary graduate. Parents, Barawinan Delia B. A. Elementary graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Melvin T. E. Barawinan. Bergonia Jennifer G. Elementary graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Louis G. Bergonia. Beroy Jessamy G. Elementary graduate with honors, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Justado P. Beroy. The Kill Catherine Faye B. Elementary graduate, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Carlos A. The Kill. The Guzman Alia Marie R. Elementary graduate, parents, Mr. 
Mr. and Mrs. Alexander A. De Guzman. Gamma Antoinette L. Elementary Graduate with Honors Leadership Awarding. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ajutor P. Gama Senior. Infiel Machilin Lee G. Elementary Graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ruben M. Infiel. Hi, 
Jean Joy P. Elementary Graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. J.P. A. Bakay. Bermudez Lanai S. Elementary Graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rogelie L. Bermudez. Cabanilla Lovely Jane G. Elementary Graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Leo Degario S. Cabanilla Jr. Cabasal Jojaina May A. Elementary Graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ronald J. Cabasal. Kafirma J. Desen E. Elementary Graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Judy P. Kafirma. Cuevas Ginaline G. Elementary Graduate. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jason Cuevas Sr. Elementary graduate, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Lino Dinabaisa. Pinera Jonathan A. Elementary graduate, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Gordon C. Pinera. Solda Kristen B. Elementary graduate, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ernesto S. Solda. Congratulations, elementary graduates. To be one of the top achievers is such a great honor and joy that one can give to her family and also to her alma mater. Achievement and accomplishment that she can treasure are something that she can be proud of for the rest of her life. It is my privilege to present to you this year's most outstanding graduate, ladies and gentlemen, Antoinette L. Gama in her words of gratitude. Sa mga opisyalis ng kagawaran ng edukasyon, mga guro, magulang, kapo mag-aaral, at sa lahat ng iba pang tumutunghay ng virtual graduation na ito, isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. Ang araw na ito ay hudyot ng ating pagtatapos. Araw ng ating pag-ani ng mga hirap na ating pinula sa loob ng anim na taon. Ganun pa man, sinusubok tayo ng panahon. Ang araw na pinaka-aasam-asam na pagmarsya, kasabay ang mga magulang ay hindi magaganap. Nakalulungkot ng kapanghihinayang, ngunit higit na mainam ito para na rin sa kaligtasan ng bawat isa at nang maiwasan ang banta ng COVID-19. Ganun pa man, tanggapin natin ang pagkakataong ito bilang isang hamon para sa patuloy na pag ng ating mga pangarap. Tulad nga ng sabi ni Miss Universe 2018 Katrina Gray, we need to see situations with a silver lining. Kaya, patuloy nating tignan ang kagandaan ng mga bagay kahit sa pinakamahirap na sitwasyon. Gaya ng bagong normal na dapat na nating kasanayan, Maaari natin gawin inspirasyon ito upang lalong mapagbuti ang ating mga sarili. Kung yahalin tulad natin ang nais nice nating makamit sa kasulukuyang sitwasyon, maituturing natin na tayo ang mga frontliners na sinusubukang puksain at tapusin ang laban sa COVID-19 na siyang hadlang sa pag ng ating mga pangarap. Kung kaya, sa mga kapwa ko mag-aaral, Bilang mga frontliners na nais matupad ang mithiin sa buhay, huwag natin kalilimutan ang mga sumusunod. Una, lagi dapat tayong mayroong mga PPEs. Ano ang PPEs? Hindi lamang ito tungkol sa personal protective equipments. Para sa akin, 
Ito ay tumutukoy sa Panginoon, pamilya at eskwela. P. Panginoon, sa lahat ng pagkakataon, huwag natin kalilimutang humingi ng gabay at pagpasalamat sa lahat ng mga biyayang kanyang patuloy na binibigay. Sa lahat ng ating gawain, hingin natin ang kanyang mapag-aruga at mapagpalang mga kamay at manalig na sa kabila ng lahat ng kaganapan sa mundo, mayroon siyang planong kahanakahanda para sa bawat isa. P. Pamilya Ang mga taong nasa likod ng natamon nating tagumpay sa araw na ito. Para sa aming mga ina at ama na walang saong sumusuporta sa mga pangarap namin sa buhay, maraming salamat po. Isang kabanata pa lamang ng pag-aaral ang natapos at marami-rapi pang bundok ng hamon ang ating dalakbayin. Pero kapit lang, mama at papa, nanay at tatay, darating din tayo sa hururok ng mga ito. I. Eskwela Ang lugar na kung saan nahubog at natuto ng mga leksyon at aralin. Nais ko na rin kunin ang pagkakataon na ito upang pasalamatan ang mga gulong siyang naging instrumento ng Panginoon. Upang matuto tayo, hindi lamang ng mga leksyon pang akademiko, kundi mga aral na rin sa buhay na pangako po, bibit-bitin namin sa kung saan man kami mapunta. Muli, Ma'am at Sir, maraming salamat po. Pangalawa, ugaliin ang social distancing. Tumayo tayo sa mga bagay na maaring magdulot sa atin ng distraction. Tungo sa minuting na yunin. Friend, best, body blended learning approach man tayo sa susunod na pasukan na kung saan modular o online ang gamit natin. Hinay-hinay tayo sa Facebook, TikTok, MLOPUBG, ha? Pangatlo, huwag maniwala sa fake news. Maniwala lamang tayo sa mga reliable sources na magbibili sa atin ng tamang payo at impormasyon. Kaya ng ating mga guro, magulang, kaibigan at kapamilya. Sigurado, pag nagbigay sila ng payo, legit na legit yan. Ikaapat, mag-research. Patuloy pa rin nating pagyamanin ng ating mga kaalaman. Hindi man tayo face-to-face, -face, gumawa tayo ng paraan upang higit pa nating mapagusay ang ating mga kakayahan at taglay na talino. Kaya ng bilis ng transmission rate ng virus, ipalaganap natin ang positibong pag-iisip at pag-uugali. Tandaan natin, tayo mismo ang frontliner ng sarili nating mga pangarap. Kung kaya, sama-sama natin ipanalo ang ating laban upang makamit ang ating pinaka-aasam-asam na pangarap. Muli, bilang frontliner ng ating mga pangarap, sama-sama nating itaguyod ang ating kinabukasan para sa ating bayan. At this moment, may we have resume El Santiago, one of the outstanding graduates to lead us the Pledge of Loyalty. Ako si Sabihin Ang Pangalan. Riza May Al Santiago, buong pusong nangangako na mamahalin ang aking paaralan, paaralang elementarya ng kapelyan. Matapat kong isasagawa ang mga dakilang mithiin nito at sisikaping mabuhay ng marangal upang makamit ko ang aking mga natutunan sa paglilingkod sa dakilang lumikha, sa aking bayan, sa aking magulang at sa aking kapwa. Kasihan nawa ako ng Panginoon. We shall now listen to the graduation song of Batch 2020 of Papelian Elementary School.
dakdang oras na tayo ay magwawalay upang lakbayin ang landas patungo sa ating bukas masakit man sa damdamin iwanan ang nakaraan ngunit dahil sa munting pangarap kailangan nating maglakbay